Kona 50 bells. So he did wenzetu wengi hawana chakula kaona tulete chakula hata kama ni kidogo ama kingi iweze kwa habari na tunashukuru sana kaunti yetu thank you so much mm -hmm. so have confirmed cases of infection uh, indeed Uh, surveillance over the last one week by the Narok COVID-19 Preparedness and Management Coordination Committee have confirmed that areas in Narok bordering Tanzania are now at great risk of becoming the next national hotspots of infections. In particular, Olpusimuru and Olderkesi in Narok West, Mausa, Olmesutie, and Ilkerin in Loita, and Angata, Angata and Mashangwa in Trasmara West are now in great danger of getting infections from across the border. In these areas, movement of people and trade, particularly livestock and foodstuff, is still fluid with communities in both sides of the border interacting regularly. Our administration has accordingly taken steps to increase surveillance at our border areas as we continue to assess and upgrade our county's level of preparedness in the event of an infection occurring in these identified hotspots. To that end, we are pleased to announce the following. One, our administration has heightened our preparedness through sub-county response committees, ward and village elders and Nyumbakumi teams to increase surveillance at, at the grassroots levels. I just want to reiterate that point that as a county, we see that as our greatest strength that now the public has taken the initiative themselves to guard against any suspicious people who might spread this disease at the village level. And we want to continue to urge our citizens that they must ensure that the Nyumba Kumi continue to function and continue to work, the elders at the village level continue to work, The SEC is, of course, uh, working with the uh, sub-county, uh, with the uh, ward administrators to work closely together. And actually, I will say, let the village be the, as it is, the Nyumbakumi, be the first level of defense, that it is they themselves now who are going to say no to any suspicious people, because it is about their, their life. The way I see the trend, if it goes that way, then we'll say, we are achieving uh, a lot of developments in this. Our administration is also embarking on an extensive public awareness campaign to sensitize our people on the increased danger of infection at the border area. Uh, we are also uh, talking with the county commission and the security committee to see possibilities of uh, uh, maybe organizing some barazas of course, on our side of the border, just to sensitize the people, the same way we are sensitizing here. It's not any different. Or the same way we can go to uh, Mulot, the same way we can, we will also want to go to the border and talk to our citizens who are uh, in this side. In addition, we will commence mass testing, mass testing of all the people currently in quarantine in the county, as well as health workers, security personnel and people from the border areas who are known to be frequent travelers into Tanzania. Currently, we have 66 people in quarantine across the county. And I think when a county commissioner, we should start with the media. Nasikia sayagi? So, muwe tayari mujipange to answer testing na nyinyi kwanza. The media. So that ndiyo muantike the story vizuri sasa. Sema sayagi nation. Quarantine. <laughs> We are most grateful to the national government for supplying us with 400 testing kits 
which will enable us to contest testing of critical frontline personnel and vulnerable members of the public. Uh, you know the media is uh, their front line. The county government of Narok received the testing kits from the National Public Health Laboratories yesterday. We hope to receive increased surveillance enforcement and testing capacity support from the national government in due course. In conclusion, we are pleased by the continued cooperation and resilience of the people of Narok in these extraordinary times. These are indeed unprecedented times of a global health and economic threat whose repercussions are felt the world over. We must continue battling this threat together with the knowledge that if we all do our part and remain strong in our convictions, the Almighty God will help us to overcome. We want to urge you to remain steadfast and continue observing good, good hygiene, in particular washing your hands regularly with soap and clean water, refrain from greetings by handshake, and maintain social distance at, at least one meter away. We'll continue to give updates and further directives as the situation unfolds in an effort to safeguard the health of our people. To see the sasa kusema kwa sababu ya kuna tuanze ku relax. Mumesikia kwanda jirani zote my karibu county hizo maje county ambaye ni jirani yetu kama Kajado na Migori pamoja na Nakuru na hata sasa hapa Bomet kuna hiyo ugonjwa. Kwa hivyo tujichunge sana tukiomba Mungu ndio hii ugonjwa isije ikiingie katika county yetu. Nilisema pia kwamba tunashukuru watu ya kaunti hii kwa sababu sasa wao wenyewe wameweza kusikia mwito wetu ya kwamba wao wenyewe wajibike kwa mtu yeyote mgeni hata kama ni mtoto yako ama ni ndugu hakuna haja atoke mali ametoka akuja kuleta hiyo ugonjwa ukiwa umekaa tu nyumbani kwako kwa hivyo tushirikiane vile tunafanya watu washirikiane kwa ile nyumba kumi na kukataa mtu yeyote ambaye anakuja kama hajapimwa na ijulikani e, mali hata kama mali ametoka kwa sababu anaweza kuwa yeye ndiye atabeba aje a, aweze kusambaza hiyo ugonjwa kwa familia na kwa majirani tuendelee kusaidiana sisi wote na tukifanya hivyo na kuomba Mungu nafikiri inawezekana sisi kama kaunti tuweze tusipate hiyo ugonjwa e, mpaka wakati itaisha na wakati hiyo tutashukuru Mungu tukua watu wa